Okay, welcome to the instructional video. I'm going to show you how to create a blind hole in a block uh, using SolidWorks software and the hole wizard tool. So to begin, let's start a new part. And we're going to use English units for this part. So we'll create a standard uh, part file. And I'm just going to create a one by one by two inch long block. So I'm going to press the Extruded Boss Base button. Right away it brings up our Select Sketch Plane uh, options. We're going to select the top plane. And now I'm going to draw a center point rectangle, uh, one inch by one inch square. So snap that there. Now we'll put our dimensions on it. This one inch. We'll come over here and make that one inch as well. And I'm going to finish the sketch. And that asks me how high do I want to extrude it. I'm going to extrude it up two inches and press OK. And now you'll see we have a two inch block on our screen. Now we're going to take and select the top plane and determine where our thread is going to go, where our hole is going to be, by creating a sketch on that top surface. And I'm going to come over here and grab the point tool. And I'm going to drop a point right here where the uh, two axes intersect. And then, of course, by default, that point will be constrained uh, based on where I've placed it. And I'll finish sketch. And now we'll click the whole wizard tool. And we're going to do a 3 8 16 thread about 3 quarters of an inch deep. So make sure we've selected the straight tap option in the whole wizard. And come down and notice my size is selected at 3 8 16 from the last time I did this. But if it's a different size, just come in the drop down menu and, and pick the correct thread size. We'll come down to the end conditions of the hole. I've selected blind. Uh, of course, I could go through. I have a number of different choices here, but we want a blind hole. And this is the depth of the tap drill, and this is the actual depth of the threads or the tap. So, uh, the tap drill always has to go deeper uh, than the tap itself, which, as you can see, is the case here. And uh, we're going to go three-quarter of an inch deep with this thread, and our hole will be a little bit deeper. And that's pretty much what we want to see. That's the parameters of the thread. We still have to give it a position. So click on this Position tab. And now it wants to know what surface this thread is going to be drawn from. And so come back and pick that same top surface we picked before for the sketch. And now you notice it brings you into sketch mode. So the last thing we have to do is we have to place where our thread is going to go. And so we can hover over the point we already drew. And you notice get the coincident symbol uh, when you've connected it. And that says we're exactly coincident to that original point. So simply left click there. And then you can come over here and click done. And you'll notice you've created a thread. 3816. It's a threaded hole. Uh, these uh, Hidden lines indicate that it's a thread. That's what, how you know it is a thread. And then, of course, if you hover over it, it will tell you that. And uh, it goes uh, 3 quarters of an inch deep for the thread and 0.94 for the hole, just as we specified. And so that's it. Thanks for watching.